Alright, I'm going to go over the cost of some of the components to put in together an aquaponic system, which is basically a hydroponic system. All right. The difference being, instead of using chemicals, you're using fish waste. You're raising fish. I'm personally raising Hawaiian gold tilapia, or Hawaiian golden tilapia. And they, pres they uh, make more than enough waste. I have to use a filter as well to filter out the extra. Otherwise, I'll over-fertilize my plants that are in the essentially hydroponic system here. This is a, a feed bed that I have the plants housed in. I paid about $130 for it at a tractor supply company. The price of gravel, you can find at Lowe's, it varies. You're probably going to need at least 10 to 15 bags to, f to fill up a 10 foot bed like I have here. So that price will vary depending on what you're looking at. I'd recommend a smooth gravel. I have smooth gravel mixed with lava stone. Lava stone is supposed to drain well, but sometimes it has cavities in it that'll breed mold or mildew, and you have to locate those stones that that happens with and remove them. So if I did this again, and when I make another bed, I'm going to do it all smooth gravel. The cages that are on here, those are only about four or five dollars if you find a good deal on them a piece. And bags of seeds are, you know, anywhere from two to six dollars. Uh, you can also get some plants and trans uh, plants and transplant them. So those costs will vary if you want to put in a bigger system, depending on the size of the tilapia or fish that you get when you're setting it up. The price of a uh, 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub like this. I, I think I paid $75 for it. I had to replace the plug. This is the plug that fit it before. I think it's about an inch and a half. And replaced it with PVC piping and a brass fitting for a hose and a little extension there so I could feed the water in without it splashing so much and more easily attach a hose for when I'm draining the system to clean it. I think the total of those parts is probably somewhere around fifteen to twenty dollars. There's a reservoir tank. I think I paid about ten dollars for that. Put a pump, a pond pump from Lowe's. I think I paid about seventy dollars for that and that pumps the water back up into the main tank. The cost of the hose is probably another ten dollars. The filter on here is actually only a 75 gallon filter I have on this 100 gallon tank because it's kind of offset by the hydroponic portion. It's about seventy to eighty dollars depending on where you buy you know, those type of filters. Whereas the hatchery tank has a much smaller one. I think it's about a $20 filter for a 30-gallon tank, and this is actually only about a 25-gallon container I have here. I have a strap going around that to keep it from bowing out any further. But that did save me some money. I think the total of that is probably about $25 for the tank and strap. And of course, I've now got about 300 tilapia babies. You can see quite a few of them hanging out around the heater. So they just keep breeding more for you. You grow more, eat them, sell them, whatever. I have a light hanging up there. It's only about 10 bucks. <laughs> just rigged it up there. Lighting above here. Uh, I think those ballasts were about $15 a piece. I've got all the lights hooked into timers. Those are $10 a piece. And you can plug two cords, and grounded cords, into those if need be. Got all the lights operating on 14 hour cycle. Got four sets of ballast in here. Each one about $10. Made my own reflectors to go around it out of the cardboard. It goes around the individual lights. Lights are only about seven dollars a piece. I got two different spectrums, one towards blue, one towards red, so the plants can get their full spectrum of light. 
and of course got timers hooked up on the one for each two sets of ballast. Some extension cords if need be. Another twenty dollars a piece to get good size cords that you know run where I needed them to go. And a table that my brother built out of oak. I'm sorry, he built it out of cedar. So that didn't really cost me much. Bought a tarp for ten dollars and covered the top of it to keep it from getting water damaged. And of course you have things like aquarium salt and start right that you'll need to basically run your aquarium portion of the aquaponic system. About four dollars for that box of salt for the aquarium. They are freshwater fish, but you do put this in there. And to start right, you put in a cap full for about every 10 gallons of water that you put in the tank. You do that when you start the tank, you do it when you uh, change the water. And then food. I have a lot. You might want to buy some smaller amounts depending on uh, how much you're willing to invest in it initially. And I got a mortar and pestle for grinding up some of the food for giving to the small fry and the fingerlings. All right, well, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, the next one I'll talk about actually setting the stuff up and operating the system.